Hello, thanks for joining me. You can see where I am. I'm at Bletchley. I've come here today to ride the Marston Vale line. That's the line that branches off over there off the West Coast Main Line and runs across the Marston Vale to Bedford. This, of course, is the West Coast Main Line. There's a Pendolino just coming through now. So a busy line all up to Glasgow. But we're going to ride the slow train that stops at every station, as I say, all the way to Bletchley. I've only ever been on it all the way to Bedford, rather. I've only ever been on it twice in my life before. Once when I was a child, when they were running class 150s. The 150s were then replaced with the D trains, the X district line trains, and I came to have a ride on them a few years ago. And then unfortunately, Viva Rail went into administration and they had to withdraw the trains. And there hasn't been a service for a year, or just over a year, I think. The services are back and with 150s again, so history's repeated itself. The 150s are back. I'm just standing here waiting for the train to arrive. I think it's gonna arrive on platform six. So I thought if I wait down here, I'll see it pull in. But in an initiative to get people to ride the line, they've bought in this one pound fare. So here's my ticket. Well, actually it's two pound um, a return is two pound a single is one pound if you have a rail card it's even cheaper so i thought while well, it's what to make use of this fare and you know to give the line an extra number i thought I'd come and ride the line so my plan is wait for the 150 to arrive and then i'm either going to go all the way through to bedford i've got an idea there's one station i particularly want to get off at which you'll soon see and i'll talk about some of the other stations on the route so let's wait for the 150 to arrive So the class 150 has arrived. We're gonna go down and get on it in a moment. While we're up here on the bridge, I just wanna show you something. See the extension of the bridge and the new Bletchley High Level, as I think um, certainly enthusiasts are gonna call it, even if it is technically just all Bletchley Station. And then over there, there's the flyover, which has been quite a well-known landmark on the West Coast Main Line. It's been disused for many years, but they're finally gonna reopen that line through Winslow, all the way through to Oxford, so hopefully, in a not too distant future, I'll be making a video. We'll be walking across there and we'll catch a train over the rebuilt flyover. We'll go and visit the new railway station at Winslow. I've often driven through the town of Winslow. I've always wanted to see the station reopen there, so I'll be pleased to see that. So that's a video for another day. I think they're also going to be, there might be a new entrance to the station on that side, which would make sense because Bletchley Town Centre's over there. Let's go down and have a look. I've still got 10 minutes till the train goes. We'll have a look at the Class 150. So it's in its new livery it says Marston Vale Bedford to Bletchley so it only ever works on this line so it's a nice spring day with the, the flowers on the station so let's have a look there's the front of our class 150 let's go and get on so what we're going to do as I said we're going to ride the line I'll talk about a few things there are to see at some of the intermediate stations let's have a look see oh, I see so we're coming here there's a very almost metro style part of the train but I think if you come on with a bike that's that bit there and if you look at the seats here you see, you see they've still got their ex northern moquette so here we are on the Bedford to Bletchley line on the ex northern moquette seats soon it'll be time to go so let's enjoy a trip along the Marston Vale I've been there in the past because there's a miniature railway there so the nearest station to that would be Bow Brick Hill. It would be a bit of a walk to where the miniature railway is but you know something you could do one day. If you want to see the miniature railway have a look at the link on the screen now. We're coming into Bow Brick Hill. <laughs>
just arrived at Woven Sands. I'm sat on the other side of the train because I wanted to look out this side of the windows. Got a nice traditional station building. And I understand you can get a drink here, like, you know, if you want a tea or coffee. Some stations have cafes. A few stations even have a pub. Or well, I understand there is also quite a nice old um, pub. Whether we're going to see it from the train, I'd like to go to it, but I haven't got time. But I'll, I'll show you why I want to show you the station as we pull out. I think we're about to to pull out and then I'm going to get off at another station. If I had all day I would actually get out all these stations, it would be quite fun to do, maybe walk from one station to another because there really are some quite nice, really traditional just country stations on this line anyway. I'm about to pass the station building and have a look at this once the fences and the new houses are gone. See it's in a mock Tudor style and oh it says Chalette now on it. There's the old station tavern, so that pub's probably quite good. When I looked on Street View when I was researching that video, it was a Costa. And I think, I thought it was unusual to see that the station building had been made into a Costa, but it isn't anymore. So if you get out there, go to the station tavern, go there and have a drink. I'm going to continue on, see what else we can find. So our train's departed on its way to Bedford and we've got off here at Richmond and we get a better view of the station building while I sort of try to show you out the window we pass through Woven Sands. I'll have to go to Woven Sands one day though, it's um, near Woven Safari Park which has a miniature railway so that will be featured one day in Miniature Railway Britain, although whether I'd actually come by train because it's quite a long way. But the reason we got out here to visit this particular station is, as you can see, it's one of the best preserved on the line and I understand it's a tea room and a heritage centre so it seems the ideal station to get out of. The village of Richmond I believe is up there up on the Marston Vale itself so the railway actually runs along the bottom of the Marston Vale so this is the station as you can see it says Richmond Heritage Centre and tea room so I'm going to go inside and see what we can find. So we've now seen the other train that's out today disappear off in that direction, back towards Bletchley. Before I continue my journey to Bedford, over there, that's the M1, the second bridge. You can just see a few lorries. This lorry here, that's not on the M1. We're going to go inside the old station because it's a little museum and it's a tea room. So it's you know, just what you want at an old railway station. So it says, this is the old ticket office. I think if we go into here, yeah, you can go in. And if you go into here, there's a nice little small artifacts museum look this is the ticket office so this is where you'd have once come and bought your ticket obviously i've already got tickets so i don't require one there's various bits of track down there um, this picture shows one of the old brickworks this line and this whole area is very well known for brick making there were lots of brickworks everywhere going to hear that there's some signalman's instruments and here you can see the signalman's log so a signalman his job would have been to have logged all the passing trains and sat there logging all of the movements. You can see various pictures and this is where the, where the ticket clerk would have sat and sold tickets. You can see, see the Edmondson's tickets. There's our tickets we're used to seeing today. There's some Edmondson's tickets. And you'd have put them in this thing, stamped a date on them. So that's quite interesting. Lots of nice pictures to see. And um, there, there's a selection of various trains that pass through here. Of course there's the D trains which we know. 
steam train, but a 4MT. They did once run a 4MT up and down here all day. I'd love to have done that. There hasn't been much steam on this railway, um, considering it's not a particularly busy line. The bigger ones run it on. Do get a few freights going through. Now let's go out of here, climb my way out, go and have a look in the shop, and then I think it'll be time for some tea and cake. So this is the shop here, I think. Oh yeah, look at this, it's a nice little shop. So you've got things like chutneys for sale, all important beer for sale, secondhand books, and local souvenirs. I think this is the old station master's part. So this is the, the shop. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through there and get myself some tea and cake. Um. Well, here we are in the tea room. I've got a nice cup of tea and I've also got two nice bits of cake. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy tea and cake at Classic oh. Railway Station with pictures of trains and signalman's maps to admire while I enjoy my tea and cake. Then I'm gonna get the 150 on towards Bedford. That was a very enjoyable tea and cake and also enjoyed having a look around the museum. I'm back on the other side. I'm waiting for my train to arrive and continue my journey to Bedford. Just found this here. Look, this is a mile post. We're six and three quarters. So if it was six and a half, there'd be two dots. One dot if it was a quarter. Different railways have different ways of showing their mile posts, but this is what we are. Six and three quarter miles from Bletchley, I assume anyway. So that's the station building. As I said, it was really nice to go to a tea room. It reminded me a bit of, um, you may have seen a video I did recently, where we went to Brickett Wood on the Abbey Line, another branch off the, off the main line, the West Coast Main Line out of Euston, and we visited the tea room there, another similar tea room. So it's nice to find these traditional tea rooms at these nice little sort of wayside railway stations. If you're coming today, you'd have to buy your ticket from a machine, as there's no longer... A staff ticket office here but while they're still doing the one pound ticket i do recommend doing what i did i'm gonna now catch a train onto bedford and then i'll have a little wander around bedford and then catch the train back to betchley and he was saying what might happen. I was asking him when they opened the east-west line when you got trains from Oxford going right through here, how it will impact on services. Um, they'll probably be running a bit faster. Talking of high speed, we side of stair, you can't Milbrook. see it particularly well, but Millbrook, if you know about driving cars fast and testing them, you've probably heard of Millbrook. That is the Millbrook test track. It's not a motorway. It looks a bit like a motorway from what I can see, but there's no cars on it, so they can test cars very high speed. If you have a look on Google Earth, you'll see it's quite an interesting site. So that's the Millbrook test track. As for ride, uh, driving trains faster on here, the line probably will be upgraded and they will be able to run faster trains. But what will happen? Will this local service continue to run? That's what we're not sure about at this stage. It may well change. Well, it's a shame, look, it's been on fire, that building. Well, that's, that's like the old station master's house. I mean, it's been on fire. Or well, perhaps that's the station master's house, but yeah, the building next door, possibly a pub. Unfortunately, it burnt down. Anyway, we've arrived at Millbrook. So, some of these stations may close or move, so effectively, I'm thinking I might have to come out one day and visit some of these stations before we lose them altogether. Some of them, they're quite close together, so they might close two of them and build a new station in between the two, which are better served for the communities, the people that will use them. I did notice when we were at Ridgemont, the villages up on the hill, there wasn't actually a great deal there. I mean, it's great tea rooms there, so 
this line probably is going to see quite a lot of changes and possibly in the future it will be electrified. We'll have to wait and see. Scenery has changed again. That is the old clay pits where they used to do the clay out for the bricks. We saw a picture at the Heritage Centre. There would have been lots of chimneys and lots of brickworks all along here. We're now approaching Stuart Green. On the other side, I can see the overhead wires off the middle of the main line. So we shall soon, we actually go under the middle of the main line and we will approach Bedford Station from the east side. But I'm thinking my plan is I'm going to get off at Bedford St John just to tick off that station. Go for a bit of a walk around Bedford, maybe have a pint in Weatherspoons, and then go to back to Bedford Main Station and catch the train all the way back to Bletchley. Well, This is Bedford St John's. We've made it to Bedford, not quite the main Bedford station, but I'm going to walk through Bedford, find my way to there. This isn't the original site of Bedford St John's. As you can see, it's a little, just one platform under a bridge. The train continues that way towards the main station at Bedford. Going back that way, see the line's on a curve. The line used to continue along there, and there was another station, the old original Bedford St John's station. I would have pointed it out, but at um, Stuartbury, Loads and loads of students got on the train, so the train went from being quite nice and quiet to completely packed. So, you know, um, it's good to see people are using the line. Now the line's running again. It, certainly this top end of the line is very well used, and a lot of the students did get off here. So, very well used line. That line would have eventually continued on all the way through to Sandy. Maybe one day I'll explore that old line, but when I say one day, I mean it could be any time. I don't know when, but it's something I would like to do. So what I'm going to do now is a, there's a cat up there just crossing the track. I'm going to continue that way, go and make my way into Bedford Town Centre. Here we are, we're by the River Great Ooze in Bedford. There's a swan swimming past. I'm going to walk along here beside the river, over that bridge there. You can see the older part of Bedford, you see the church, and you've got the modern buildings along here. I'm going to go and find the Weatherspoons, have a drink and then walk back to the station and catch the 150 back to Bletchley. So, after a pint in Weatherspoons, I'm back at the main Bedford station. A couple of Thameslink units waiting to head south. The Thameslink units don't go north beyond here, so that way is looking south towards London. And then our train's gonna come in on this bay platform the line we travelled on, that actually reached Bedford first, before this one, the Midland Main Line, was a bit of a newcomer. If you look at the map, places like St Albans, Harpenden, etc., all of the railways that have now closed, or at least in St Albans' case, the Abbey Line is still open, those railways were there first, and then the Midland Main Line, as I say, was a latecomer. I'm going to now wait for our Class 150 to arrive to take us back to Bletchley. thank you.
heading back towards Bletchley, just passing Caldercote Lake again. That's why I said this morning there is a miniature railway, so it's worth going to see. Obviously, check their running days. We, when we get back to Bletchley, I've got quite a tight connection, so I'm probably not going to have much time to have a, a look at the train. So I thought I better finish the video now. I've got about a four minute connection, and if I miss that, get home a lot later. And we're just about to go over. One more thing to show you. Grand Union Canal and then we're soon coming into Fenning Stratford station so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment if you want to come and ride this line obviously the line's always here if you want the one pound fares it's some point in May 2024 that they're going to stop so fairly early in May so you know do come before then but anyway thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment goodbye